here we go. The girls are out this morning. It's Sunday. I'm gonna go out for a little rip in our my little race car. Just want to test, uh, see how it handles with the the tires the way they are. I took it around the block yesterday and it, it was fine. But I'd like to get out on the highway and see. A couple years ago, I built a trailer uh, for Mr. Toad. Mr. Toad is a, uh, it's a kayak. It's a handmade wooden kayak that someone had given Jasmine. But we have the opportunity to pass on the kayak now to someone else. So I'm not gonna give them the trailer with the kayak, but I'm going to be modifying that trailer to more suit my needs. And that may mean putting the box off that trailer, or the tongue off that trailer, onto my utility trailer. Right now my utility trailer is hard to back up. <laughs> it is something else. It just doesn't like to go backwards because it's so the wheels are so close to the back of the car. If they were back another few, foot, maybe two, that would make a huge difference. So I'm gonna take a look at both trailers and see how hard it is to do that. I think it might just be a number of bolts and the way we go. If it is, I'll do that. We'll be off. Things seem fine on the highway. Taking a couple of rough roads now to see if it does anything, like if it pulls or anything, and it's good. It's, uh, I'm really happy with how these spacers have worked out. Speed bump. That works over speed bumps. Okay, when I get back home, I'm going to check the torque on these nuts uh, again. I did torque them three times yesterday, each when I put them on. So I expect that they're going to be still torqued. One of the things I did when I put the, uh, the wheel spacers on and the tires is I used blue Loctite on each of the studs. What that does is it locks the threads. It's gonna make the tires or the studs, the nuts, I guess, harder to get off, but, you know, it's gonna make sure that they stay on and don't get loose. It's a really good product, Loctite. And I use blue because it's about 150 pounds uh, of torque to break that. And uh, I have red, <laughs> and red's about 300 pounds of torque to break it. So I want to get the tires off at some point, so I would use the blue. Thought I'd mention, it is a beautiful day today. I wore this little light jacket, it's just a wind jacket. It's a little warm. I shouldn't have put this thing on. I shouldn't be wearing long sleeves either. Yeah, this is a perfect day. I think I'm going to be working on the siren this afternoon to uh, finish that uh, keel trunk. Get that uh, looked after so that we can get out, uh, get that boat out in the water. Wifey Pooh's catching the cat. Who she brought outside. Let's tie her to a squirrel. She'd love that. Right, Casey? Squirrel? Canada hat. Canada shirt with a beaver on it. How patriotic is that? <laughs> Didn't plan that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm home now, obviously, in the garage. I've started to clean the Volvo out a bit. Heidi took the car. I'm cleaning the mats. I'm going to vacuum the inside now just to get the the big chunks of dirt that are there. I'll wipe down the seats and stuff afterwards too.
that's her all tight. Good, didn't find any loose ones. Good and safe. Set a fan in there to help dry up uh, where I want a fiberglass tomorrow. I've got this sitting uh, like that to drain the water out of that bit. That'll be dry enough to work on tomorrow as well. And I painted my birdhouse just because I need to paint. So tomorrow I'll be doing the fiberglass on the keel support area of the siren. And I'll do a little bit of work on the, uh, the dinghy as well, just a little more stiffening up where I'm going to put the, the wheel. And uh, we'll be good to go. Have all that fiberglass tomorrow. And yeah, it'll be good to, well, I'll have to drill a hole, but then I can pop the boat in the lake and we're good to go. I've got to check the keel. I forgot about that. The blocking is still underneath. I've got to check the keel tomorrow and make sure it's in the right spot. When I, uh, I lifted the boat, the front of the boat, to drain water out, and I may have let the keel slide back. I don't think I did, but it's best to check. If I did, I'll just pry it ahead with a screwdriver. Stick it in the hole, pry, and uh, get it back into place. Okay, what else am I going to do out here? I think that's pretty much it for today. I've done a lot today. Fixed a headlight in the, in the Volvo. Didn't show that. It's nothing exciting. The wire had corroded and come apart, so I uh, took it apart, reattached the little plug in to the wire, and off it goes. It works fine now. Uh, clean the Volvo out. That's a really good job done. Gotta do that with the little car too. It needs it bad. Where did my cleaning cloths go? I brought them in. There they are. <laughs> Got these at the dollar store. I should have left them at the dollar store. Or maybe quick or wiping your hands, but they don't do a really good job on the car, especially not for the the dirt and stuff that gets you know, on the back of the seat, on the plastic bits. This doesn't take that off very well. And oh, I I moisturized the seats and the. There we go. Ugh. I moisturize the seats in the Volvo with uh, this leather care stuff. It does a really nice job making the seats feel really nice. So it's uh, like we have new leather.